welcome to Turf Wars. Um, this is just a, a quick video to explain basically uh, what Turf Wars is about. Um, this is a beta. I don't know what other word I can possibly use apart from that. Um, and what I've done, I basically got a few of, few of my colleagues, as you can see here, here, here they are, and um, they're going to um, help me play Turf Wars um, this season. I was hoping to get it done about a week or two earlier, but due to various stuff, I'm wonderful code and busy and all that stuff, I haven't been able to do it. So I'm just getting it all sorted out now. Now this Turf Wars isn't on the MMO uh, site, we've had to put it on its own Discord um, because there's going to be loads of stuff um, to, to get on there. As you can see already, I haven't finished yet and we've already got stuff here already. Um, and what What is Turf Wars? Uh, basically, it's the fluff side of MML Blitz. So obviously MML Blitz is um, a mixed team league um, where we have 32 franchises all playing against you know each other to try and get that uh, trophy. Um, and obviously higher players and stuff and various other crazy uh, shenanigans. So you've got people like Chuck Norris who plays in it. Um, Trophader, off the top of my head. Um, but one thing you know the MML always has liked is the fluff side of it. And a lot of a lot of um, play, uh, players like the fluff side of it. So I sort of thought of like it's made out like. It's all nice, isn't it? All all blitz. It's all nice. It's all nice and clean image. Yeah, people do fight a bit and put some cheap shots on the on the pitch, but it's all all right. And you know what? I don't think it is. I think there's a dark side to MMO Blitz, uh, and that is in the, the heart of Blitz City. And um, you know, there is you know rival rivalry gangs all about. Um, in Blitz City, all looking for power, you know, and, and basically a lot of these mafia gangs are uh, owned by these big powerful franchises like Napane Nightmare, for instance. And uh, you know, this is this is where these GMs of these franchises get the money from. Yeah, they get money from sponsors and stuff, but they don't get these swanky cars and helicopters and all that stuff, you know. Just you know, on what they earn, they need to you know, go and try and get money, maybe not legit ways, and this is what Turf Wars is, the problem is, there is a lot of, there's a lot of uh, franchises and GMs who want a piece of that big pie, you know, and they want some money as well, so obviously Turf Wars, we're going to see clashes between uh, GMs and obviously their, their mafia bosses and their gangs and obviously some people will work together and some people will backstab each other some people might frame someone else to take the fall um and it's basically what it is it's like a role-playing sort of thing each week um you know i will contact each each um general manager and obviously we'll go through what they what their plan is for their for their their uh, franchise or their mafia gang for the week and then as the week goes by, uh, flare-ups might happen and I'll go up to them and then they'll have to decide what they want to do. And, you know, it's, it's going to be very, very story-driven. And then obviously what will happen is um, some things will, will um, make stuns on schools media. Um, that's home of the, uh, the Blitz official newspaper. And um, also on Blitz TV, they will, when that finally comes back, I know I keep saying that's going to come back, but I'm hoping now I've got this sorted, that'll come back within the next seven days. And what happens in Turf Wars will make the news in Blitz TV. So, you know, when you watch Blitz TV and we come to the news part, that actually happened. It wasn't made up, it actually happened. And I think that'll put a bit more fluff and a bit more realism into the whole world of Blitz. And uh, that's what we're uh, looking at. Um, so... I've, I've kept basically the, the, the guys in the dark, really. I've given them a few very little snippets. And uh, I really wanted to make them all a bit confused and not sure what to do because I didn't want anyone really getting a head start on the rest of them. Um, all of them are probably going to have the same option to, to watch this video whenever they wish. Um, and I'm going to give them some information now. And um, other people who obviously aren't obviously in Turf Wars, 
um, you know, by all means, if you want to join our Discord server, you can do. That's fine. You can talk in general, um, and you can ask in questions. But please don't don't set, uh, type anything in any of the other chats because I'll just delete it. Um, because that has information about obviously everything to do with Blitz Tef. Sorry, Tefo. Sorry. Um, the reason I've kept it quite a small uh, selection of um, coaches is because it's the beta, and it's still a work in progress. There's a lot of stuff uh, what needs polishing up and a lot more stuff what I want to add when I when I know the, me the mechanics of uh, the basic stuff I'm, I'm, I'm using for the beta works. So basically what will happen is each franchise will create, as I said general, where is it? Here we go, look. Um, Every franchise will create themselves a right-hand man. He's the number two. He's his Mafia boss. You have to create your very own Mafia boss. Give him a name and a nickname as well. And you will choose three skills. Now, the skills are all in here. There is a few more, but um, I'm probably going to add them in maybe next season if this works. So you've got things like Intel, Chameleon, Scout, Bugs, Hawkeye. Now, I haven't told them what bonuses or negatives or whatever these give. I haven't given them any information. They've got to use their own brain to think, oh, well, what skill would pickpocket do? For instance, pickpocket, you'd, you'd think, well, sure, that's going to make me have a much better chance of lifting something from a, a person. You know? Enforcer. Brawler. Brawler seems like someone who could be able to fight. So taking that skill, you would think, would give them a bonus or some sort. And so they've got not to decide what skills they want to give their mafia bosses you can only have three of them some of them you can't have like these are lawyer skills only and as you can say a mafia boss would never be a gateway driver he'd have someone else to do that wouldn't he um and there's all all the skills there um they are gonna be hiring their own staff as well now this isn't finished this staff yet there's gonna be about another 50 staff members um and these are obviously the their most most trusted like lieutenants and stuff like that and they've all got skills, as you can see. Um, and obviously you've got things like uh, Gideon Janko. He's a male, he's at age 31, and he's a lawyer, and he has skills, let's make a deal, and he costs 70k a week. So like in real life, you know, if you have these, if you hire these these people, you've got to pay them. And depending on what skills and how relevant and what important they have and what skills they get, they can cost a lot. Like Judy Stiletto Fal Falcone. She's a, she's a female, 25, and she's got undercover persuasion martial arts bugs hacker she's got a lot of skills and because she's got a lot of skills and she looks like she could be quite a good person to have on your gang she costs a very she's quite expensive 100k a week so she doesn't come cheap but she does she could give you a lot of um information and a lot of helping way you want what you want to do so you know the the, the mafia the mafia boss have got to decide what they want to do what sort of planning and what sort of plan are they going to do to rule um blitz c uh, and certain skills will work for certain plans and that's and that's the whole point you know um like so you've got lawyers there as well there's, there's, there's there. and what's going to happen guys is when Tef Wars goes live, and you'll have you you set amount of money. I think I'm going to give you a million, a million, what you want to call it? I'm just going to say pounds, but that's British. A million blitz books or whatever you want to call it. I'll open this up. These are all for staff hire. And what you need to do is say, for instance, I'm I, I, I'm um, a, I'm a general manager, and I want Judy still at Falcone. She's hundred k a week, but you want to hire her, so you've got to pay to hire her. So if I say right, okay, I'll pay, I'll pay you thirty k to come and join my gang. And nobody else has bid his first. She goes, yeah, thirty k, no problem. So I have her. But let's just say Chase also wants Judy Stella as Falcone, and he offers fifty k for her. All of a sudden, he now owns the uh, the contract for Judy Stella Falcone. Then maybe Dragoon might want Judy Stiletto for Cody, and he may offer a forty k, but forty k is not more than fifty k, so he won't get the contract. He'll get reply back saying, 
stop being a cheapskate, I've had a better offer. It's all done in secret because they'll all be sending me all the messages, won't they? Um, so only I'll know is who has gone for what. So when so when the hiring is done, obviously Dragoon will know what he has and Chase will know what he has, but Chase won't know what Dragoon's got and Dragoon won't know what Happy Buddha's got and DeMarco, you know. The only way they're going to find out who's with who is via maybe um, scouting out or looking or sending a private eye or checking the news or, or, or various things to find out who works for who. Because in real life, the gangsters are going to say, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm with this guy, you know, I'm, I'm in this group, you know, and they don't always work like that. So they're going to have to basically find out who went where, you know. Uh, like I said, there's going to be about another 50 added on here. Um, so obviously, you, 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 you basically, it's basically an auction. It's a secret auction. You bid, and if someone outbids you, I will message you and say you've been outbidded. And we go on until there. And then obviously, Wednesday, there'll be a cut point on Wednesday, and then it'll be cut off, and whoever has the highest bid will get that person. And that will be part of their gang. Right. The other thing they're bidding on is lots for sale. So these are things like um, pubs, nightclubs. I say pubs. I, I put pubs slash bars because I think a lot of people either call them pubs or bars or it's make it nightclubs, takeaways, and various other places up for sale. So, for instance, the Powin, there's a reserve price. So the minimum this can be sold for is 250k. So if you offer 200k, you don't get it, even if you only bid. It has to go for at least that. And obviously it is like bars are decent money makers and good places to take clients and have a chat or do it. any secret dodgy stuff franchises do. It then gives you obviously um, some other information. Uh, this uh, So basically the beer is your own brand. So you'll get a cash, but it won't be as much as if you had a, if you had a brewery big name brand drink, you know. Um, and obviously, you know, you can pay 50k for an agreement with one of these, Papa Nagel, Wishwood, Rat Poison, Crooked Ref, or Bugman's. They're all different beer types. Now, you all these uh, breweries give you different bonuses, but they don't know what the bonus is. And each bar can only have one of these brands because, you know, which would don't want to be, uh, you know, sharing with Papenagel's brewery in the pub. They want their own. So you've got to pick one of these. Um, the staff upgrades as well, like Bouncer, 20, 20k a week, but that helps in just case there's bar brawls because bar brawls do happen. And obviously you can get quite quality, better quality bar staff what makes it cost you 20 20k a week but might give you a bit of that juicy bonus to make you more money um and 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 these the, these rules will work for every pub and bar um in the game and um, restaurants can be really huge money makers for your gang but it takes hard work and money getting them then stars to make it five star so you basically start off as a one star uh, restaurant um and the higher up the stars you go the more money the place will make but obviously, to get that five stars for a restaurant, you've got to pay and get these things. Like you want, you need a top chef, um, quality food, better staff, swankery fit to make it look, you know, really swanky. And it'll come because it's really swanky. Um, and obviously, there's an upkeep each week. So there's, an, there's an upkeep, obviously, for bars or 50k a week. House of Frenzy, that's a closed shop. So you can see there's the Dirty Gibbon, a takeaway store. Um, and... Uh, hiring scouts to sell your franchise cookies so yes you can get scouts girl scouts or even boy scouts and you give them your branded cookies i don't know what's in them they could be very addicted cookies and they go and sell your branded cookies to make money but sad as it sounds um girl and boy scouts could get you know could get robbed <laughs> depending where they go um they can make quite a bit of cash and it's, it's one of the cheaper setups an elite scout cookie, you know, these are proper hardcore cookie girls and boys. Um, you know, they, they could make you a bit quite a bit of money. Uh nightclubs, Ministry of Power Nightclub. Again, we've there's always reserves so the uh, merchandise. Now merchandise is, is the only one at the moment where it is actually linked to Blitz. Um ev every um franchise can have one. Um uh, it costs hundred K startup. And basically what happens is your income is decided on your result in Blitz. So, for instance, this week, Momo's just won. So if you had a, if you had a merchandise store, 
and his team's just won, then he'll get a bonus. So his store will make more money, or he should make more money. If he loses, he's going to make less money. He's not going to make hardly any money, because why would you buy stuff when teams are losing? If they draw, yeah, could go either way. So, you know, I quite like that. I think um, it's a really good idea, and, and Proudstar gave me that idea. So a big shout-out to Proudstar on that. Um, and, yeah, that, so that, that's the first thing we've actually linked to Blitz. Um, and these are basically all the other properties, what will go under auction. And it's going to go the same way as the players. If Momo says to me, right, I'll put 250k in for the power in, I'll say, right, it's yours. But then if, say, Chase comes in and says, I'll give you 270 for it, I'll say, all right, you're now the leading bidder, and I'll tell Momo somebody's taken over. But I won't tell Momo who's taken over. Um, now, there's different prices here. Um, so you might say, well, how come the power in is 250k reserved? The Noble Arms also pub as well is 150k reserved. What's the difference? Well, the difference is this. All the pubs and bars and all the restaurants are on different streets in Blitz. And each street in Blitz has a, has a star rating, one being the worst, five being the best. So if you've got a pub or a bar or, or a restaurant in a higher star rating like Crown Lane, it's going to be a lot safer, less chance of getting broken into or, or bar brawls or stuff like that. And all the rich people are going to come and spend money. So it's more attractive, but they, they do cost more. Whereas if you go to somewhere down here, you know, um, like the Three Gobbos, for instance, the Three Gobbos pub is always busy, and although it's quite a rundown pub, it still makes money, just be careful, the bar brawl. So there's more chance of damage and not as much money being made here in Vermin Street than there would be down in Crown Lane, for instance. Um, we've also got, obviously, with it being Blitz, we are obviously bringing a few of the Blitz big names into, obviously, the story as well. And, obviously, Stamjal said we could use, um, obviously, his stuff. So, as you can see, Night Street, um, it's a bit of a bland area, if it wasn't for one thing, and that is Jay Love's Love Shack nightclub, a five-star nightclub establishment where everyone comes to buy hard. Jay Love hangs out there and speaks to many of the public and is the most popular nightclub in Blitz City. Why is it called Night City? Oh, Jay Love bought the full area and renamed it that. So, you know... We, we will be bringing in, obviously, a lot of the Blitz stuff to make it more of a story sort of thing. So, um, you know, there's things like that. But as you can see, there's a little bit of everything on there. You know, it's all with the star rating and all that sort of stuff. And obviously, when, when, when your gang members are moving about, I'll be asking where they're going. Oh, well, I'm going down to Night Street. Oh, right, proud star. Who's going down Night Street? Oh, that guy. And Chase might say, yeah, yeah, this guy's going down Night Street. And they might actually meet, bump into each other and all sorts of stuff. So it is important to see where everyone goes. Now, for instance, Graham Lane. Well, this is where Papa Nagel Syndicate is, and they're the biggest syndicate in Turf Wars. And um, Papa Nagel's right-hand man, the Mafia boss, is. You might have heard of him before. He's an MML legend. It's Mad Frankie Fraser of the Playground and Cowboys, or he used to be the Playground and Cowboys. He's a complete maniac, and he runs the shots in Graham Lane. All the Papa Nagel's uh, syndicate... Um, properties are there he's got various things like pubs hostels hotels you know he's got everything there he's got scouts and, and brawlers scouting the area just in case any unwelcome guests i um, in that area even the police don't even go down ground lane these days they just keep it well away from there so obviously they, they are the big the big mafia in that in in that area um but again, there's a bit of information on all these. Obviously, after the beat, I'll be fleshing these out and I'll be putting a lot more like story into it. You know, some, some areas might be very, very hilly or very, you know, made with um, like a forest area, like an outback area and, and stuff like that. Because the beat, I'm just trying to keep it, keep it very simple. But yeah, each, each basically each week, obviously, they're, his, they're, the, the Mafia gang will be going to these streets. And sometimes they'll bump into people and, and they might see each other. Depends on the days and whatever. So, yeah, that's that. Um, Blitz properties, right. These are properties you can't own, but they are in the game and they could do things. The Bank of Altdorf. Everyone knows the Bank of Altdorf. It's the only bank in Blitz City. Um, it has money, gold, jewellery, rare artifacts. It has everything. Um, 
So you might think, oh yeah, I want to rob this place. The only problem is it's the most protected property in Blitz City. Everyone gets caught, apart from one person. There is one person, allegedly, or a myth or the rumour is, there's one person who did break into the Bank of Outdoor, did take a big wad of cash and actually got out as well. Unfortunately, this guy has wasted his money um, on the GGs and in poker and now he's out of money and he's back looking for a franchise and to make himself some money. The question is, will one of the franchises realise which one of these guys or girls did it and can they hire them and can they make themselves some money? Um, the Blitz Hotel, owned by Griff Oldwald. Obviously, most people know Blitz. Uh, most people know Blood Bowl will know who Griff Oldwald is. One of the most superstar, best ever Blitzers. Um, used to play for Recon Reavers, um, and he, he owns the Blitz Hotel. Very posh, swanky. Um, it's on. It, it 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 it's built on the Crown Lane, the poshest street in Blitz City. Um, and uh, yeah, it's where all the rich and famous guns and stuff is go there as well. I mean, you could cut root costs. Rooms cost fifty k a week, unless you want the penthouse two hundred k a week. Um, is there any bonus staying there? Who knows? But you know, you've got to go and find out, I guess. And if you're really lucky, you might even bump into bump into Griff as well. Schools and Forms is is a laundry service. Um, it's a place you can go to wash your clothes. Obviously, um, if I'm, if I've got a wash machine, most people have got wash machines on me. Um, but you know, I've heard that if you've got some dirty money, you like rob 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 some place, you can go here and they'll clean the money. So you can then use it freely. But you didn't hear this from me. Um, talking about um, Griff Oldwald, Zug. Obviously Zug was a, a former teammate of Griff Oldwald. And um, he's gone into his own business. And he, he loves bling. He loves jewellery. Um, and made, made his own company, Zugs & Co. Jewellery. Um, as you can see, Zug's a former teammate of Griff Oldwald, like I just said there. Um, and basically he sells jewellery. Very high-end jewellery. And every so often... Um, he puts very rare jewels from around the world um, in his store to have a look at and uh, people have tried to pinch them stuff it's not as, as well guarded as a bank of outdoor but it's still quite more guarded and it'd be hard to uh, pinch and think oh, would you want to pinch them off from Zug? be a bit of a maniac wouldn't you um, Papa Nichols Syndicate like I've already said the, the, these guys are the big guys these guys you do not want to mess with not at the start they will I mean, these property of the you know, Pesco Rams, Papa Nagel's Brewery, and you you know you don't want to annoy them because especially if you want the, their their beer, <laughs> Sports Derelict, Papa Whiskey Quick Bite, Puke and Graham, you know they've they've got the fingers in just about everything. Uh, and if you go down to Graham Lane, you better have a good standing with the syndicate, otherwise it's suicide. Yeah, financially they're very rich. They're the richest franchise in the game. Um, and then you've got the auction house here. Basically, every four weeks. Um, memorabilia stuff will come up on auction and this is quite big because there's going to be stuff in here and the aim of the game is obviously to have the biggest baddest syndicate and you'll get points each season and earning rare artifacts like for instance um what what, what can i give away right now um little mo's first ever worn shirt or little mo's first ever boots you know, he, he wore, you know, if you can get these rare artifacts, um, and then the yours, they're going to be worth a lot of money. And obviously at the end of the season, when we tally the points up and, and everything else, you know, it, it, that that will help. If, you, if you're short of cash, and you've, got, and you've got some rare artifacts, you can sell them to make money as well. Um, so the auction house is really good. It's once every four weeks. And usually, so you, you'll probably get two auction houses in the, in, in, in the season. So you can sell and buy. And again, it's another thing. All all bids will be private again there as well. Uh, what else have I got? Contraband. Whoa, contraband. This is where the big money is. Obviously, it won't be mafia turf wars if you didn't have contraband. Um, this is where the money is made. But it is a lot of money to, to, to start. Um, as you can see, it says big, big money. Basically, you, 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 you take a property, you tell us where you want it. So you'll turn around and say, right, Benny, I'm going to have um, a contraband and it's going to be in one of these. Yeah. Now, if you put it into like Cram Lane, Champion Street, less likely to get burgled, but there is a massive blitz police and, and, and federal 
sort of um, activity. So, you know, you might not get robbed, but if the police get hold of it, they'll, they'll, shoot you, they'll shoot you down and some people could be spending jail time. Whereas if you go somewhere like Vermin Street or Hope Avenue, police don't really go in them areas. They're, they're, they're like, you know, very dangerous areas and they just leave them to it. The criminals sort of like rule them areas. So there's more chance you might get, people might try and rob you if they find you. But you'd rather try and fight another gang than them taking on the police, that's for sure. So you, you've, you've got to decide what's best for you. You know, hopefully nobody will find it because um, it will be quite hidden. It's not going to be, you know, with lights flashes saying, come and rob me. This is a contraband store. But the same skills what can help to find these places. Um, and you can have more than one, but they are quite expensive to, to start up. Um, fungus juice, dig dignity rocks and rare animals are the three contrabands I'm using this season. Um, you can get things like guard dogs, cameras and security guards to protect your stash. And obviously each each week you'll get a you'll get a cut of, of um what you earn. And obviously all these three contrabands all give different bonuses. Again, you don't know which is which. And the only way you know is it when you buy them and find out yourself. Um just thinking if there's anything else I forgot. Uh, inside info. Basically, this is where as if um you know, you've got someone who's in the know. And if he's in the know, it goes in here. Um, that's basically all I can say about that at the moment. It's basically inside information. And if you've got someone who's got the contacts, they'll be able to go in there um, and find out um, what's happened. They'll, what, I'll, what I'll probably do is, uh, what, what I'll probably have to do with this one, I'll have to lock everybody out of this. Um, basically out of here unless they can unless they have their rights and then they can go in and see it um i don't want to press general because someone's asking stuff there and i don't really want to do any of that because chase might be giving his mafia stuff so i don't want to give that away um but yeah the basically the aim of the game is it's your own sort of um Imagination. Anything just about goes in, in in blitz. Any sneaky thing you think you can do, you probably can. You really can. Or any anything you can think of. Terfos is limited by your imagination. It's as simple as that. It really is. Um you know. You wanna go and spray paint you know, um, you know, chase sucks. You can do it. You might get caught. You might not. If you want to go and gate crash Happy Buddy's warehouse, by all means, do it. You could even set somebody else up to date the fall. You know, um, try and pay some cops off. See if they're corrupt. You can do that. Do anything you want. That's the beauty of Turf Wars. Is it's role playing. And you can do what you want. You ask, you, you'd obviously have a conversation with me and we'd go through it. And, you know, and, and that basically is it. Um, I think it's going to be fun. I mean, I, I, I think, you know, it, it'll be great if you buy into it. You've got to have an imagination. You've got to be, like, wanting to role play it. Um, and I've got some really fun things I'm hoping to get done. But I don't want to spoil it on here for the, for the, for the players. If it works, it's going to be really cool. Um, all I'm going to say is, the only clue I'm going to give you is Mission Impossible. That's your clue. If you've seen Mission Impossible, you might get what my idea is. And that's basically it. The winner, well, the winner basically comes is the one who has the power, has the money, has the artifacts. And every, every sort of thing you do will get a bonus or a negative. You know, you do something really good, I'll give you points for it. If you do something really clever, even if you fail, I'll think, oh, right, all right, I'll give you points for that. And whoever gets the points at the end of the season will be the top dog, and they'll get a bonus. Um, 
and I, I just can't wait because I, I've spoken to all these coaches already and they've all got their ideas and they've all said, oh, can I do this and can I do that? I'm like, that's amazing. Even I didn't think of that. Of course you can. You know, dice, is, dice are involved for certain things as well. But set, certain skills will give you bonuses like a plus two this, plus one that, whatever, you know. Um, I can't, don't really know what else I can really say at the moment because I can't, I don't want to press any more buttons here. But basically what will happen is I think they're going to have a million pounds, I say, I'm say pounds, sorry, I'm British, this is, you know, my apologies, a million quid, <laughs> that's not even any better, is it, a million, we're going to have to find a, what, what we're going to call a, mil, a million blitz, Cur I don't know, I'll just say dollars, but that's American in it, I don't know, we'll have to make our own currency for blitz, aren't we? It's it's worth a million, whatever it is, and that million they'll have to get some sort of property and hire their own staff, and then we go from there. So I'll be opening it up shortly, and they can put all the bids on these when I finish this. I mean, like I said, there's about another fifty I've got to put in here. Um, the skills are all done, I think. Um, all the lots are done. Like I said, these lots, there's not many of them. So, you know, if you want one of these, you might, you know, how, how badly do you want one of these? These are important because you need one or two of these to make money. Because that million will go quickly. And don't forget, the, the staff you hire, you've got to pay them weekly. And some of these, them are not, some of them are not cheap. And you've still got to pay your rent and your staff for these places as well. So, you know, you've got to make money here. Um, like I say, you could rob the jewellery store, you could rob a bank. But it's not that easy. You could go and rob another franchise. Again, not easy. Do you really want to start a turf war with another franchise? When you're just starting up? It's up to you. Do you want to... Does, does Ian DeMarco want to ally with Proud Star? Or does Ian DeMarco want to ally with Happy Buddha and then knowing full well you're going to stab Happy Buddha in the back later on? But at the same time, Happy Buddha's ready to stab Ian DeMarco in the back? Is Chase going to think about setting up Dragoon? You know, there's, there's, there's all sorts of things what can happen. Do you want to try and look out for some scouts selling cookies and rob them? Oh, Chase has got a, a cookie gang going about. You, 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 you. Oh, it's terrible. You go rob these poor kids of the, 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 the money they've earned. That means he would lose that money, but you gain it. So that would make him weaker and you stronger. There's so much stuff you can do. The problem is, if the, if the, if the scouts could say, oh, well, I think it was this gang he was like this and he he, he, he he the description was he was six foot five he had brown hair and he had a scar across his cheek and your intel might say oh hang on a minute that's one of dragoon's gang so he knows that's a dragoon hit so then you can maybe get payback so there's all sorts of intricate things what can happen there's all sorts of lots of fun things you can do as well you can do what you want basically is what i'm saying your imagination is the only thing holding you back. Like I said, the beta, this is as much as I want to put out on the beta. If anybody wants to, you know, join the Discord channel, they are more than welcome. But like I said, you can only uh, message in general and questions. Anything else will be deleted. And if people keep keep basically um, messaging you, I'll just kick them out, unfortunately, because these guys, you know, got to concentrate um like i say there is a paper as well i think i don't know if i actually mentioned that already the stuns and schools media so obviously there'll be paper reports each week what obviously um might have some little snippets in there they might even have stories about their franchises so it might give information out to the rest of the franchises so there we go that, that's all I can do i don't know if i've really explained it very well or not um I think when when we start going, it'll be a lot easier, and I'm I'm quite excited for the uh, the shenanigans, what's going to happen, and you know I think this role playing side of Blitz will be a lot of fun, and I can't wait to be putting this on Blitz TV, if I'm being honest, and um, it's going to be a lot of fun. I know the guys are, are, are buying into this really well, and I just know they're going to be cursing each other as the, as the as the season goes along. Anyway, that's me done, guys. Um, Turf Wars starts this week. Which franchise will be top dog? Who's stabbing who in the back? And is there a small chance that two 
franchises will actually be genuine and ally up. Who knows? I guess we'll see. Stay tuned to Blitz TV because the news will be on there. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.